Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this episode of The Dan Dawson Show. So, in case you haven't realized what's going on now is, the SJWs have come for um, Gina Carano. And Pedro Pascal is not standing behind his co-star. He's over there doing his thing. Oh, and I love the SJW so much. Like this, if somebody put a bounty on my head and that's who's coming for me, I'm not too worried about it. Now, if Gina's coming from me, I'm kind of worried about it. But she's doing a great job. She's standing up. She's doing her thing. But see, this is what they try to do. Because the last time I checked, Gina Carano is not only a minority, but a woman. And so because she doesn't agree with everything they think, they want to counsel her. Get rid of her. They don't want her working in Hollywood which lets you know they don't care about minorities. They don't care about women. They care about their objective. And their objective is to get all their policies passed and through. See, that's the whole big issue. So when that's their agenda, well, what do we do? Well, we have to fight back. And Gina's doing it the right way. Gina's like, I don't care what you say. I don't care what you say. They're making up all this stuff about her because she liked a tweet, because she retweeted something. And now the SJWs, who I guarantee do not watch The Mandalorian anyway, they may have a couple of their spies looking out at The Mandalorian. But you know who watches The Mandalorian? People like me. And I'm going to tell you right now, Gina's 100% right. And I'm honestly kind of starting to think we need to put a voice together. I love The Mandalorian. I watch it every week. Every week it's on. The last one, like I told you guys, I watched four times. Four times. But if you're going to counsel Gina, Disney, if you're going to take her out for her political views, which I might add are correct, she's spot on. then I think we need to counsel you. And when I say that, I mean, we're not going to watch any more Disney. We're not going to watch The Mandalorian. We're not going to do any of that. So you go and counsel Gina. We're going to counsel you. And I think, honestly, people, that's where we need to get to. As you can see here from the tweets being rolled up, she's not really saying... <laughs> Anything crazy. It's not like she's running around with a MAGA hat on. And even she was, so what? Her acting is superb. She does a great job. And she's the type of woman you want in that role. So who am I supposed to believe? Say I was a villain. or had a bounty on me uh, in the Star Wars universe. Who's going to come and get me? Pedro Pascal because he has cute shiny armor or Gina Carano who I might add is a trained fighter and I guarantee would dismantle poor Pedro as you can see here her tweets are scrolling up no no I think it's time we as a group come together and put up a fight against these crazy SJWs and these crazy leftists. So when I say there's an old saying in the military, keep your powder dry. That means be ready. And if you're going to come after Gina Carano, no, no, no. There's a whole group of us behind us, behind her. And then did you hear the new craziness with the... Uh, about the Mandalorian from the SJWs. Oh my God, the women are wearing boob armor. Because they have boobs, dummy. Flat place chests don't work for everybody. Because believe it or not, there's 50% of the nation that has these things called boobs because they're women. It's just, it's getting ridiculous. And it's only going to get worse. Hmm. 
I had a cousin posted, oh, uh, something about pro Biden something down in Texas. And it's like, you have, I live in a liberal state. You have no idea what's coming. No idea. And when it comes, you're not going to like it. And like I said, I plan, I plan on spending the next four years telling people, I told you so. But you're not coming after Gina. It's just not going to happen. You need to probably knock it off. <clears throat> so Pedro Pascal, as you may know, is woke. Woke to what? I don't know. Idiocy? I have no idea. But he's woke. See? He's woke. And so he posts all these SJW tweets. Gina is just being Gina. But see, like it says right there, council culture is attacking Gina Carano for being a conservative. See, that's what they're doing. That's why I made the last video and I'm showing you or if you're a Trump supporter or you're conservative, they're attacking you on the streets. They're attacking you on the streets. And you know who's not reporting it? Don Lemon. Uh, I forget the name. Guy with the glasses. I forget his name. Anyway, CNN. So let me tell you a little secret. In the black culture, you know what we call CNN? The Crying Negro Network. Feel free to use that. But yeah, it's the Crying Negro Network. I've never seen black men cry so much or so often. It's really ridiculous. So, <laughs> I'll just I'll stick about this right. So, <clears throat> if it came down to a fight between Don Lemon and Gina Carano, <laughs> my money's on Gina. And I'm not going to bet some small amount. I'll bet my life savings. Gina's probably going to mess him up. But no, so, you know, Star Wars fans get together. And we need to let Disney know, if you cancel Gina, we cancel the Mandalorian franchise. Because it's not right. It's not right what they're doing to her. This, these SJWs who probably don't watch the Mandalorian anyway. And I don't know what Pablo Pascal is doing or whatever his damn name is. Leave her alone. Not gonna be messing with Gina. We're not gonna have it. And if that's the route you want to go down, then let's go down that route. Cause see, the way they counsel us, it's time to start canceling them. I don't want to see woke Charlie Brown. Even though honestly, Charlie Brown was woke for a long a lot of people were. <clears throat> Remember, Charlie Brown was one of the first animations that had a black kid on his on, on their show. I don't want to see a female black James Bond. Even though I do rec recognize there are females who are black who are from Great Britain. So let's see how they do that. If they do it tastefully, yeah, I might watch it. Might watch it. But I've never really kind of gotten the whole James Bond thing. It's like, is this one continuous person? Or is that title of 007 being handed down from person to person? Uh, they got to figure that out. I'm not, I'm not even sure. So, but no, you counsel Gina, we counsel you. Hey, screw you, Disney. Screw you, SJWs. Complain about whatever you want to complain about. The Mandalorians have boob armor now. That's because the Mandalorian women have boobs. What the hell? And notice... In that last Mandalorian episode, where she said, this armor has been in my generation, or my family for three generations. That's three generations of warrior women. Instead of whiny, complaining women. Oh my God, I can't believe they did that. Oh, oh. Oh, ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Oh, God. So, let's do this. We're going to stand behind Gina Carano. Even I have to make a, a support Gina Facebook page or whatever I got to do. <clears throat> but we're going to stand behind her. We're not going to let this happen. So, sheepdogs, stand up. Let's get off that hill, race down there. We're going to support Gina. Hey, one love. I'm also now on uh, Rumble. So, I'm also on Facebook. 
I got a couple other places I'm probably going to look into. So thank you. I appreciate you guys watching this episode. Like, support, share, subscribe. Do what you got to do. And with a special sign-off, this is the way.